derelict wreck and the two windows smashed all the insides were practically gutted and the face of it was painted green because we're green, building wow. the gap in the shed <laughs> and the rest of it was sort of white um, but brought home on a trailer and spent the next 12 months literally taking out all the rotting wood in the frames and replacing the plywood filling in holes in the floor Scarfing in bits of wood, and uh, it got to a stage where I had to wallpaper because the wood veneer wasn't anywhere near up to it. So painted the ceiling, painted everywhere, then I wallpapered everywhere, made new curtains, recovered all the seat cushions and bases underneath, new floor coverings, put the kitchen together, um, put a new gas cooker in which I actually bought off eBay. Somebody had bought it as a house gas one and somebody had bought it by accident to be on a bottle gas um, and I realised all I needed to do was change the jet sober and I could use it as bottle gas. So that's okay. what's nice, it looks, looks new even though it's 30 years old. Um, reconnected all the water, the, replaced a lot of the electrics and um, checked out all the gas fittings and uh, replaced quite a few of them. And then I uh, replaced the tow hitch and the jockey wheel because they all seized. On the gas canister, had an oversized one from another large caravan, so I cut the back off of all of it and then now, fitted it. So you've, it, you've rebuilt that gas locker? Yes, basically. so um, it now fits a gas bottle and a bucket which also holds all the electrics and spares for yeah. things. And that bit on the jockey wheel, is that for an aerial? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, got an aerial again off eBay. The TV off eBay. Also got a little entertainment aerial there. Mm -hmm. That's lovely. And I love these front windows. Yes. They're really cute. Yeah. So you've rebuilt all this kitchen. Rebuilt the kitchen bits. Um, bought an old fridge that we got that about a tenner mm -hmm. that had come out of old VW and it wasn't working. Cleaned out all the jets, cleaned out the burners, um, bought a new, some new bits okay. for it and then painted the front bit, put That's a knob on it and fitted it in here. And you wouldn't and know, out. looking at it now, you wouldn't know you've it, had to rebuild it's all that. a little gas, little gas one and uh, fabulous, but leave and make ice. Wow. <laughs> so, so, and I'm fitted in the pizza ignition so I just need to press a button to just get it to start yeah fantastic then on the inside carbon monoxide right? and yes very important yes. Um, and the 12 volt lead if I ever wanted to run it off 12 volts which is really wow and so you've got these you've, you've added these tiles in and you've yeah. done all the paintwork yeah and did you say you've made these little guardrails oh as yes well? little guardrails so that's four mil beading from Bristol at B&Q. It's a very clever idea. Um, I used a dremel to actually s cut through it because um, a normal saw was no good and it was taking forever with a kitchen knife. Yeah. A um, bit of glue and a little tiny nail holding each one. Then I drilled into the wooden bases and glued them. I oh, glued them. It's such and a good yeah. idea. And they're you know, quite solid. And that just um, stopped everything from moving around. Yeah. I'm going to move around really slow because you've done that in a few places. And then I want you to tell me about your little trick with the tin. So I'm going to oh, come yes. around to that because yes. I think that's such a clever idea. Um, storage jars, metal ones, and that you get all sorts of attractive ones. I've actually bought off of the internet some tiny magnets and stuck them to the top of the cupboard. And then that holds, I mean that one's full of pasta. Wow. And it holds it and all, it the holds it all there. Yeah. So I've got a whole range of little magnets all over the top so I can put you know, whichever tins I need to on them. So 
re it's such a super sets. idea, and mm. they're really lovely old school tins as well. They are, yes, they're a present from the daughter in law. Um, so and you've nice. wallpapered everything, you've rebuilt. Did you say yeah. you've rebuilt both ends of the caravan yes, as well? Yes, put new frames in, dig out the rotting stuff, and right up into these top corners, right up through there. That's all new, all the way down. Then I put this one back in, put new, um, I think it's four mil ply um, either side with new insulation behind it. And do you tow her with your moggy? I can do. Wow. And I have done on the block, but I don't think I'd want to. Long distance. Yeah. Yeah. And so your 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 moggy is a really old one, isn't it? 1959. She's amazing. And I, I was lucky enough to hear her engine yesterday, and she sounds beautiful. Mm. Yeah, I have towed her, but I just think no, she's too precious. Yeah, you don't want to damage either of them. I've got other vehicles that will do. That. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for showing me around. You've got an adorable, adorable little van. And what is she? She is a Mini Glen. A Mini Glen, absolutely beautiful. And I can't believe the work you've done. I wouldn't have known coming in that you've done all that hard work and all yourself as well. Fantastic. Thank you.